Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So in the past few days, many of our friends have uh, chat with me on 1960 Wing Chun. And also there are friends who chat with me on the side body Wing Chun or the Pin Sun Wing Chun. And uh, also there are friends who leave me messages such as this. Leong Zhan died in 1901. How can Pin Sun Wing Chun possibly from the 1960? Seems unlikely on the, uh, my video. Side body Wing Chun is a version of 1960 technique based Wing Chun, not a 1850 dynamic momentum base. So today I like to share with you on the 1960s Wing Chun and uh, 1850s Wing Chun, Pin Sun Wing Chun, so that uh, things get clarified. So uh, it is really important today that things get clarified because uh, if we are not clarified things today, a culture or an art can get wiped out really easily. Now, just a side topic. Leong Zhan died in 1901. Is that true? Well, it turns out that it's not true. So if you look at this clearly, Leong Zhan was born 19, uh, 1825 and passed away 1894. Okay. So uh, you see, we have a lot of data today. Uh, we can track things. And uh, before I get into this uh, sharing more on the 1960s version of Wing Chun and uh, 1980, uh, 1850s of Wing Chun, I like to share with you that in Chinese culture, be it in the uh, Buddhisms or in the uh, Kung Fu, it is really problematic today if we do not clarify things. So this is an example, an example of a Buddhist monk uh, pointed out that the uh, there are many things today which is uh, really uh, problematic when people say something because in the network, it will, uh, it will uh, stick in the network here on forever. So uh, the same issue with Wing Chun, if, uh, Wing Chun is not get clarified out, then uh, guess what? It's like uh, this was stick in the uh, Japanese television. Okay, so people will think that uh, Wing Chun is like in the Yip Man movie. Okay, and also uh, people will think that uh, Wing Chun is like uh, what Si Xiao Dong described here. So uh, there is uh, two things and there are more such as uh, over here in Chinese, it said that Wing Chun is from Southern Shaolin. Okay, and then uh, over here is saying Ngojo, the Ngojo Guns, Kush uh, Hen is the same with uh, Wing Chun, uh, sticky hand, and then uh, and then you have all kind of guessing work here. Like Wing Chun is from 
one does a month and then uh, very possible uh, it is from Fujian uh, Shaolin Temple of Zhuanjiu. And then uh, here, this person claimed that uh, he have uh, investigated into the uh, white crane Wang Chun of uh, Fujian. And it, it seems that there are many things is uh, similar with Wing Chun and so forth, so forth. Now, uh, that is the issue here is in the internet now. And also, for example, here it say that uh, Leong Zhan created the slant body, Pin San Wing Chun. Uh, Yip Man don't know about it, okay? And uh, so Leong Zhan do not uh, satisfy with the proper body Wing Chun or the Jing San Wing Chun. And then uh, he uh, improved the uh, Jing San Wing Chun to be uh, more effective and become a Pin San Wing Chun. Okay. And uh, of course, you can see something like that, uh, like this today. Okay. Something like this today. Kung Fu movie, tell you the real Wing Chun, the prodigal son, okay? And here in Chinese, it say that this is the best Kung Fu movie, uh, Wing Chun movie, and this is the uh, authentic Wing Chun instructions movie. So he say Wing Chun instruction movie, okay? So if this kind of thing is not clarified, and of course, you know, you got here, let me share with you on this Yitman movie. Shouldn't we use Chinese martial arts? Okay, and uh, to change foreigners' bias against us. And then here you can see that the burning of uh, the, the wooden dummy, okay, those foreigners keep trying, okay, like we are in America destroying the, uh, the, the wooden dummy, okay. And then uh, here you say that uh, Leong Zhan is the founder, the creator of Wing Chun. It's like for analogy, Bruce Lee create Jet Kune Do, so Leong Zhan create Wing Chun. So this is from China, CCTV uh, teaching video here. Okay, this is Hok San, Gu Lo Wing Chun. Well, and uh, of course, there are many things over there too which is like this one, the secret truth Wing Chun history your grandmaster hide from you part two. So like over here, it said that he also met other groups such as descendant of Leong Zhan of Hua San. So there are many things there, okay? And oh yeah, of course this one. This is the set created by the Canton Wusu associations. Okay, so if things do not get clarified, this is Wing Chun, you like it or not? Okay, so, so that, that is Wing Chun. So is this Wing Chun? Are you serious? So that's why it needs to be clarified. Okay, now one thing is, I used the term Wing Chun 1960. So, so what is Wing Chun 1960? Today I'm sharing with you again. 
So Wing Chun 1960 is the uh, name for Wing Chun, which is uh, sum up in the past 140 years since 19, uh, since 1880. Okay, that's what I mean by uh, Wing Chun 1960s. So all this Wing Chun 1960, be it you call it Pin San or Jing San or whatever as what I show you uh, just now, it has a characteristics, a uniqueness in all this Wing Chun 1960s. The uniqueness is the fighting range of this Wing Chun 1960 is in front of one, okay? So that is the model of uh, Wing Chun 1960. So we really can uh, summarize the Wing Chun 1960s version, which is I name, as uh, having this type of uniqueness. And this is a result of 140 years of, uh, of, of summary since 1880s. So in 1880s, you have uh, so many lineage in Wing Chun and so forth. And uh, what you see is everybody have this type of uh, uniqueness, okay? So say you say that like the Gulo Pinsan, okay? Uh, does it have this type of uniqueness? This is from China, okay? This is from China, Gulo Pinsan Wing Chun, you see? The same thing, uniqueness is here. Okay, so this is the, the sphere, this is the person, okay? This is the Hoksan Gulo Pinsan Wing Chun. So it is this. So to answer the questions, say for example, this friend is saying, Leong Chan died in 1901. How can Pin San Wing Chun possibly be from 1960? Seems unlikely. Well, this is his story. And of course we know that this year is wrong, okay? But this doesn't show any technical proof or evidence. What we know today is today's Wing Chun or 1960 Wing Chun is having this type of uniqueness in fighting zone. Okay? So if you check all the Wing Chun today, Disregard of you call it this family, that family, this family, that family, is all have this uniqueness. Okay, now we need to be really clear here because when I'm presenting the 1850s Wing Chun. I'm not presenting it as a marketing positions, okay? For the Wing Chun version 1960s, for past 140 years, many of uh, so-called Wing Chun of this family, that family, that family is actually a marketing positioning, okay? It do not have any solid uh, uh, technical uh, differentiations, but a uh, a uh, uh, marketing a uh, uh, market positioning such as this one. Okay, you say that Liang Zhan uh, cleared the Pin San Wing Chun, and uh, Yip Man do not know. Okay, so so that is a type of positioning. Okay, it is, uh, say for here, you know, Liang Chan do not like the, uh, do not feel satisfied on the Jing San Wing Chun. And then he improve it. Uh, 
become the uh, the the pin sun wing chun. What well, well, this is a, a, a market positioning. It doesn't carry the technical uh, contents because disregard Jing San, Pin San, it always is the same thing. Okay. When you look at this model, and also as in over here. Saying that uh, Liang Zhan is the, uh, the, the, the founder of Wing Chun. Well, this is a Chinese uh, uh, television for, for teaching, okay? Well, this is problematic because this is not fit to uh, history of China. Liang Zhan does not create Wing Chun. Wing Chun is not the creation of Liang Zhan, okay? So all of this is uh, in, especially in the uh, 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 past 140 years is you can find a lot of uh, story made up and, and all kinds of market positioning, I call it. And on Liang Zhan's art, if you go watch this video, this two parts of the video, you can see what it is, okay? Now, that is a problem. That is a problem. Like the monk try to clear out what happened. This type of stuff is stick in the internet. Then many will take it as the truth, okay? Now, so the 1850s Wing Chun, the 1850s Wing Chun is a solid uh, technology-based stuff. It got nothing to do with all those uh, market positioning things, okay? And that's why we can look into the uh, history and found out what happened. Well, the first is the identity of Wing Chun. This is the salutation. All Chinese Kung Fu, the legit one, you check Hong Ga, you check Chai Lei Fat, and so forth, all have a salutation, and the salutation means something. It is their identity. Okay, as in this salutation, it show the... Uh, the, the, the art of Wing Chun is belongs to the uh, artist in the Red Boat who is against the Qing Dynasty, who is playing the female role. Okay, so that's why it's called the female art. The second thing is <clears throat> the uniqueness of Wing Chun, the shoot in with penetration, the sticking fighting so it is you know analogy with uh the jujitsu today you have the takedown you have the ground fighting so so that is the uniqueness and this uniqueness can be further elaborate with the Shaolin short strikes classics uh, document on the short strike from Shaolin okay so uh, this is attack from sight. This is attack from front. This is the attack or counter attack from the back. So is that true that uh, there is a, a Jing San and Pin San uh, Wing Chun? Is it true that Liang Zhan uh, uh, do not satisfy with the uh, Jing San Wing Chun and then create his Pin San Wing Chun? Well, you look at this thing. So this is a side body. This is the uh, frontal. This is the back. So. If you call it front body or slant body, you're still missing this, okay? 
And not to mention that things like this is missing the identity and missing the uniqueness. So, so how could it be that Wing Chun is according to like this type of, uh, of descriptions? Okay. Well, not to mention all of this type of uh, Wing Chun, the 1960s Wing Chun, have a serious problem technically. Okay. So you say that, well, you know, Hendrik, uh, what do you mean? Yes, it is a serious problem. So uh, let's get into here. Let's share with you one thing. This is the Shaolin Short Strike. Classic. Over here in a Mandarin, Qian Jia Mi Yao, Zhong Yao Yi Ge Sen Fa. Okay. So in English, this is to say that the very, very, very important of a martial artist has to have a body method or body strength handling. Okay. So the body strength handling is like your general. Okay, so you need to be able to handle that. Now, none of this type of 1960s Wing Chun have that body methods handling. If you look at the Pin San or Jing San Wing Chun today, they don't have that body handling. And so you ask me, well, so is that it, it, uh, is it there in the uh, 1850? Yes. So over here, the Y12, this in, in, in Mandarin, Xiang Bao Chen Shen Li Fen Fen, in a direct translation, it said that Xiang Bao is hugging, Chen Shen is sinking your body your strength, the body strength, split horizontally. This is Sun Fa. Okay. So, uh, this is what you have to have, but it is missing here. It is missing here. Okay. And also, like in this, uh, in this, the, 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 the new creations of Canton Wuzhou Associations, it doesn't have the Sun Fa and is even problematic like this hand. You know, people today call that a Fuk Sao, actually it's Gong Sao. You look at his hand is at the navel area, okay, navel area. Well, let's look at what he wrote in the, uh, in the quinquit here. So here you say that Y9. Okay. Back of the palm face outward, intention is full. Okay. Rotate palm, reeling, guarding the heart. This is what describing that so called uh, folk sound or some by fat uh, 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 part of uh, the Xiulim Tao. So that's 1850. Well, it never is this. It never is this. So, so, so this is issue. That is the reason why I wrote this book 
the Wing Chun Inceptions, which is carry on this thing, on uh, this quit in 1850. And also, it carry on the, 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 the plum flower footwork. Okay, all this footwork, all this footwork. Well, if you look at this closely, how can it be differentiated between a Zheng San, Pin San? Because all this footwork is actually supporting this, the side attack counter, the forward, the back. Okay? So you need a footwork, you need the body strength. Say this is from the back, you see that? Okay, so uh, this is the back, this is the thing, this is the opponent, you get that from the opponent's back. So, this is technology. So, as in this book, okay, Resecting Wing Chun, at the beginning, it's already say, okay, this is a Shaolin Sword Strike classic, of the short strike, he said the entire body must fill with strength. Rise and sing, participate and disengage. Being proactive is the key, right? Now, that is the uh, the, the, the 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 Shaolin short strike, and uh, so it applied to all this thing that you need to have a body strength which is, I share it here on this thing. Embracing and sinking split horizontal, uh, for, split the force horizontally. This is about, about the, uh, the, 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 the close body. When you get this close, your body be better be able to handle that. And that is how it linked to this one. We say that the body is a general. Now, so how to develop that? Well, this is in the Wing Chun Inception. Uh, sorry, which, uh, Restricting Wing Chun. This forward, backward functional training. So as here's a figure two, uh, 5.2 show the details of a figure 5.1 functional training. Figure 5.3, 5.4 show the enlarged posture AD in figure two. For details view, this is a short strike martial art functional training to develop the forward and backward high speed dynamic momentum handling. Okay, and then he here on, uh, which is uh, this forward stand has to be in comfortable wide with a uh, support mobility and stability for agile fast moving. A stance too wide cause difficulties to move, a stance too narrow cause instability. So there is uh, in this book, which is uh, sharing, presenting what happened in, 19, uh, in 1850, okay? it has to have a comprehensive view because without a comprehensive view on the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, uniqueness and uh, the, uh, the, the body handling, the body strength and so forth, one simply cannot make that thing function. And whatever in the past 140 years, up to all these creations, and which is model here, you can see that it doesn't have that content anymore. But it is like the same type of thing is a uh, market or, or, or label in difference label. Not to mention there are many things is distorted and many things which is, uh, doesn't make sense. You no, know, like this uh, in the Chinese uh, TV saying that Liang Zhan is the is the uh, founder of Wing Chun. Why Liang Zhan do not create Wing Chun? Sorry, and 
if we today ask, so okay, if Leong Zhan create a, a Wing Chun, where is the, uh, the, the, the body strength part? Okay. Where, where is it? Okay. And uh, where is the footstep, footwork? How come none of uh, uh, his descendants today have those kind of things compared with the 1850s technology? So many things is lost, many things is created. And this is the problematic. It, it is actually uh, something one cannot change anymore because when, when, whenever one talk about Wing Chun, it is this type of a picture which is filled into people's mind. Like this is have a 1.4 million watcher. This have a 529K viewer, okay? So this is what stick in their mind. Whatever happened in the past 140 years and the, uh, the, the, the so-called the 1960 version of Wing Chun stick in their mind and, but in the reality is what is what, okay? It, so, 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 that, that is an issue now. So 1850s Wing Chun is just to clear all the thing out, to tell what it is as it is. Because bottom line, a martial arts, like uh, I'm using this, uh, this, 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 uh, this, uh, this uh, lyrics, from the uh, Eyes of Tiger, Rocky Tree theme to, to, uh, to present this. The entire martial art is the Eyes of Tiger. It is the thrill of the fight rising up to the challenge of our rival. If thing is not clear on the uniqueness, the body strength handling, and all sort of detail, which is the 1850 have and the shot, which is uh, which is uh, uh, based on the Shaolin and general Qi Qi Guang. You cannot have this. You are not be able to have the thrill of the fight rising up to challenge to the challenge of our rival. Okay. So here I I I present it in a really clear way. It is the thrill of the fight rising up to the challenge of our rival. Well, this is the arrival. It has been there for three years. Anybody stood up to rectify? Beside here in this channel, we want to keep rectify it. Because if you don't have that technical content, there's no way one can do this. One cannot rising up to the challenge of a rival because one don't even know what it is. Because after 120 years of, oh, this is the new creations of, uh, of uh, Liang Zhan and even Yip Man don't know. And then uh, all sort of stuff. So you want to learn your, your Wing Chun in the, in the movie, from the movie? and uh, not aware of this is the problem, how can you fight like this, like this in the MMA? So again, it is like the Buddhist monk try to clear things up. Once those things stick into the uh, internet and so forth, you, you, it's forever there. You cannot clear it up. And so today, majority, majority is the version 1960s Wing Chun and the, 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 the actually really distorted, distorted or uh, market positioning type of stuff for past 140 years. Will it be able to, to, uh, to rise up to the challenge of our rival? Well, for sure it cannot. 
because Xu Xiaodong have proved that to you or proved that to the world. Okay. So this is the, the issue now. Okay. And of course, I understand that uh, market positioning is, uh, is a part of human living. Let me share with you. About uh, 40, 40, about 40, uh, 40 years ago, okay, this is in uh, uh, 18, yeah, almost 40 years, I think 35 years ago, I was studying at Iowa State University. And at that time, uh, I get to a chat with uh, the, one of the professor who is uh, teaching uh, Asia art and so forth. And so I was kind of, you know, I'm a young guy at that time, you know. Uh, I was uh, uh, kind of complaining or uh, telling the professor, say, you know, sir, how come this thing being, uh, being distorted? Uh, this is not, uh, whatever this person present is not proper. Uh, it is uh, fragmented. It is not, uh, not, uh, not comprehensive. So the professor told me this. He said, Hendrik, you know, you are young. You need to understand. People need to make a living. So at some point, people, people will package up whatever they have and make a living. So when you look into the situations like this, you need to take a considerations on uh, real life, okay? So I learned that at that time, 30 some years ago, you know, the age of 20 something. So, uh, I present this to you is not to saying that whoever package thing and uh, and uh, uh, make a po uh, market positioning is wrong. I'm not blaming at them. I'm just saying that one can do those market positioning, but for heaven's sake do not cause the entire culture or Wing Chun to get wiped out. Because there's a line there. If you cross the line and 10 people, you know, like if one guy cross, cross the line and then the others, the guys say, oh yeah, he can cross the line. I can cross the line too. Then everybody cross the, uh, cross the line. And then when you cross the line, after one to 40 years, now you end up with a version 1960 Wing Chun. And you end up like this. And you end up like this. Get make fun of. Okay. So so it is not about blame. It is about Wing Chun need to bring back the technological base. So it has to have the comprehensive details there. It cannot be generalized, surfaced, fragmented and market it as like, a, like this thing. Oh, Long Zhan not satisfied with the uh, 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 proper body Wing Chun. So he modified it as, and then, uh, or he evolved it and be, uh, getting a better Wing Chun, which is the Pinsan Wing Chun. And then if you go watch this video, you can see that is that true or is this a modern creations? Well, this is after 1960s, okay? That's why we have this recording here, right? So, so this is what I'd like to share with you. That is about the market positioning. Okay, and that is about clarify technical.
I'm not in that market positioning stuff. I'm not here to sell you my lineage. For me, it doesn't matter. Technical is matter. Why? Because just to put in a very simple minded way, can one rising up to the challenge of one's rival, can Wing Chun rising up to the challenge of one's rival, if it cannot, it means it is obsolete. So that is the reality. Okay. It is a painful thing to see this, to, to, to look at this by evidence. But you know that if you don't straighten this thing up, one will not be able to facing up the challenge of the rival or rising up to the challenge of rival and it is gone, completely gone. So this is what I'd like to share with you today. Again, I'm not blaming on anybody. I understand on different people call their Wing Chun, different Wing Chun for their making a living or, or, or all that uh, human needs uh, situations. But I'm saying that is, there are certain lines it must not cross or else one damage the Wing Chun. So this is what I'd like to share with you today.